I'm extremely excited for where we are um, in the third seed going into the conference tournament. Considering how our season started, you know, we, we, we never thought that we would be here um, at third seed hosting for the SWAG tournament just my first year. Extremely um, honored and most importantly blessed. Very thankful for the team and the effort that they have been given um, all season and so thankful that they never gave up. Um, going into the tournament, we just have to make sure we focus on the key things and that's playing defense, apply, applying ball pressure and really getting after it um, in our full court pressure. Um, looking to have somewhat of the same game plan um, and, and may make some adjustments, but we have to be ready for a very good Alabama State considering they jumped out on us hard here at our place um, Saturday. Coach, how concerned are you about playing Alabama State again a few days after you just played? You know, I'm, I'm extremely concerned because Alabama State best player, averaging 13.5 points a game, only had two points against us. So I know she's going to come in and look to really go off on us and really get her points up and help lead her team to Birmingham to the semifinals. So we just have to make sure we keep her contained and do a good job as we did on Saturday, holding her to two points. Coach, what's the change? We're obviously now riding a six-game winning streak and things of that nature. Uh, I guess it's your first season coming in, but what's changed, I guess, over the course of the last six or seven games? Our chemistry has changed. Early in the year, we were just trying to figure out each other. We were trying to figure out me as a, as a head coach and, and really adjusting to my system. And so now the players, the season went on, the players did an awesome job of really focusing in on what it was that we needed to do in order to be successful. And that was to be a team player, uh, play together, and really buy into the new, the new system and new plan. And so as the season went forward, that's what we did. We did more of a better job of playing defense, getting defensive stops, and really just believing in ourselves. Our confidence went through the roof here towards the end of the season. So I'm just really excited for our players and, and what they're bringing to the table right now. Do you feel like you have them right where you want them uh, in year one? Peaking at the right time, if you will, going into the we are definitely peaking at the right time. Um, when I first met this team, I knew this was a very special team the day I was hired. Um, I didn't know that it would take as long to get them going in the right direction, but I'm just thankful it happened at the right time for this year. Um, we have some, some things on this team that we won't have next year. Christina Ellis, her defensive efforts, her scoring ability, Chelsea Calsey, rebounding ability, her finishing around the basket, her outside shots. Our scenes that we have, we won't have it next year. So I'm just so happy that it all worked together at the right time. How much does the home court advantage help? Uh, obviously, you had them here just a couple days ago, but not. But how much will that help come to you soon? Tuesday having home court advantage is really important. Uh, number one, we won't have to travel, so we won't be on our legs long. Um, and having our band here, having our fans here, having our alumni, our family, people to rally behind us when we get down in those those valleys to help us get back to the top is very important. Um, and so I'm just really thankful that we have this opportunity to be a third seed and host right here at our own home. My last question for you, they always say the answer goes, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And you, I guess, with the last three seasons, Region 23 championship game you played in things like that. How much of that postseason success uh, helps right now as this you get to the nitty gritty of uh, bat the basketball season when it counts? You know, I definitely reflected back on at my time um, at Heinz Community College making it to the championship game. Some things we did well and some things I need to do differently as a coach. And so here down the stretch this week of practice, we've really been focusing on those things. Um, not changing a whole lot. You know, keeping things just the way it was when we started our success. And just being able to make those small adjustments that to keep the girls um, acclimated with what we have to do on the floor. Um, and you know, it's just exciting. It's exciting and you have to you have to feed to the players the excitement, the atmosphere. You have to show them what it's going to be like so they can be ready for it. Um, and they are well aware, even though we have a home court advantage, no calls are going to go in our favor. We have to work. We have to work. Officials are going to let you play at this time of the year. So just, you know, keeping, keeping their mindsets there, it's been, you know, it's, it's, it's really exciting. So very thankful. Coach, you've always, you know, all season been following the mindset of like one game at a time, one game at a time. And that one game at a time has allowed you, you know, get the third seed in, in the tournament. So um, you just mentioned some of your seniors. Like what 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 is your message to them? Um, you know, knowing that like you said, you won't have them next year, but like this is 
probably by far the biggest game for them in their careers. Correct. So I've been telling our seniors that, you know, it's a saying, it's two sayings, play hard or go home, and it's also win or go home. And I told our players, let's scratch, play hard, because you have to win. This is it. This is, you know, we have to play it like it's our last game because it is in all, in all terms, our last game if we don't win the game. And so we're feeding that to our seniors and letting our seniors know we've come too far, we worked too hard, we peaked at the right moment, we have to continue to take full advantage of it going down the stretch. And I think, you know, they are really excited and really ready to step up to the challenge and help lead this team to Birmingham. If you had to give two or three critical points, um, other than the fact that you kept the um, leading scores like two points at one point in time, what what would be your two or three critical points going to Saturday? We have to take care of the ball. We have to take care of the ball. They put pressure on us full court, and we 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 fumbled the ball. We turned it over, and so I, I'm expecting more pressure from them this game. So we have to take care of the ball. We have to continue to make free throws. We did a great job last game, shooting 81 percent from the free throw line, and so we have to make make free throws, and we have to do a better job of rebounding the ball. We only won the rebounding war by one, 36 to 35. Um, they crashed the board extremely hard, and they go hard offensively to the board. If we're not careful, that can be our Achilles heel um, on tomorrow. How much does Christina Ellis, we talked a little bit about it a minute ago, but how much has she meant to the team? Obviously last week they got player of the week honors and things of that nature. I'm sure you'll miss her, but just what has she meant to this 2019 team? Chris means a lot to the team. And I knew when we first started not having Chris on board and with her continuing to learn what we are and what we want from her, um, I knew once she got it, she was going to be a tremendous asset to this program. And so I'm just really thankful for what she is. She's extremely humble. She believes everything she does is a team effort. She never takes the credit for herself. And I'm just so excited for her and the effort she brings to the floor. Um, without Chris, we struggle. Uh, she brings so many different dynamics to the game, offensively being able to score in transition. She's extremely quick, and people don't understand and don't know that until you get beside her and have to keep up with her. Um, she's quick in transition. She finishes well around the basket. She's crafty defensively. She has long arms, and she's quick with getting her hands on steals. I mean, she's just a major piece to what we have going on right now. She will definitely be missed um, at the end of the, our, our, our battle. Emotion-wise, I'm kind of like, I'm nervous, but because I've really, ne we, we've never been here, so, you know, it's something new to me, but I'm trying to just stay humble and contain, you know, just do what I can do and do what I can control and not overthink stuff and just give my team what I know I can give. Does it make it that much sweeter that it's, you know, uncharted territory for you and um, first time, man, you got a chance to do something that since you've been here, it hasn't been? It does. But you've never been here, so I'm, I'm going to take advantage of this this opportunity that I have and give what I can give, and hopefully we can win it all and make history again. How much does it help that you get a chance to play here at home, and like I said, being from Florence, uh, <clears throat> something that you've never done been able to end before that? Because you have Jalen Forbes out last week. Uh, uh, man, I wish man, if I, if I could have been out there, you know, yeah. could have won that thing. But, uh, being at home is it's amazing. All my, my family's here. Um, everybody's coming out to support now that we made this far. So it's good just to see them in a the crowd and supporting me on my last run. Can you talk about what's been different this season, uh, the last six games or so, just the streak that you're riding and, and just momentum, what, what that's been like? Um, this season, we just having fun. Coach letting us play our basketball. She's giving us a game plan. We execute, but she also giving us the room to have fun and do what we can do and play our roles. She's not asking too much. She she know what everybody can do. So what she expects you to do, she wants you to do it. So she not she she just being a good coach. So I mean, it's good. We having fun. I'm having fun. So that's all that matters. Talk about you got Alabama State again. You just played them Saturday. What, what what are your thoughts? Are you nervous about them coming back again? Or do you feel like oh, we beat me again? Uh, I mean, it's kind of nervous, but we going to do what we can do and control what we control. So, yeah, we, we, we are. We, we got to play our game, do what we can do, honestly. So, 
we rebound like Coach said. We we had a major problem with that at the beginning, but we got to come out with the things that we know we control and not wait until like third or fourth quarter. Just hit them head on and we'll be good. What was the biggest difference from the first time you played them in Montgomery when they won and then Saturday when you guys won, you know, by double digits? Um, when we played them, I guess uh, we wasn't really – focus on the bigs, but now that we know that everything they do is surrounded by their bigs, we on it. Coaches adjusted the um, defense, so we on the bigs, and we control the inside, make them take quick shots, and then rebound, no second chance uh, opportunities, and it's our game.